and welcome to Save Point, a video game show where we talk about video game topics suggested by you, the viewers, in the YouTube comments, on Tumblr, and Twitter with hashtag Save Point. A uh, special thing we want to mention today before we get into the show is uh, we have these awesome shirts that we got from the wonderful people at Insert Coin. They were nice enough to send it to us, and they're a great brand. I love all their products. You should actually check out their website. It's insertcoinclothing.com. There'll also be a link in the description if you want to check that out. But yeah, they're awesome. Um, great shirts. They're very comfortable. Um, and they're really cool people if you order from them. And just check them out. And um, let's get into some topics. Show started. All right. First one is from Zach Miller on. Uh, let's Tumblr? see. That's that Twitter. is Twitter. Twitter. I want to hear. What is that? Throw mine in from what. Okay. Okay. I want to hear what you guys. Think, think on the absence of a true Pokemon game on console. Um, okay, so besides Pokemon like Stadium. Yeah, does yeah, does Pokemon Stadium count or no? Are we, are Which we, one was first with Stadium first or Coliseum? Coliseum, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think Coliseum because that was the GameCube one, wasn't it? I, you yeah. know, it's like okay, so yeah, Nintendo like, is like completely owns the mobile market, like you know, for handhelds. Like they're doing so good at that, but their console sucks, and they're doing really bad in consoles. I don't understand how they can, they know exactly what to do for the mobile market, but the hand, I'm sorry, not mobile, let me say handheld, because yeah. mobile phones, you know, handheld, sorry, but they know what they're doing <laughs> there, so I don't get why, like, like, okay, you know, you can, they came out with the 2DS, and they came out with Pokemon X, on, wasn't it the same day? Yeah, same day they were doing. They knew what they were doing, so when the Wii U came out, when they're like, oh, open world Pokemon game. Don't poop yourselves all at once. <laughs> that would have been a good idea. Why isn't there a good Pokemon game for consoles? I don't know. Maybe maybe it's in the works. They they put it on their back burner for a bit. And now they're like, okay, now we got the Wii U. Now it's a 1080p console. It's HD. So now maybe maybe it's in the works. You know? You'll be the craziest partnership of all time. Well, all right, like, like I don't want to blow your brain. So just hold on for this for a second. Ready? Okay. Kingdom Hearts. Take out Disney. Pokemon. I don't know. It, um. It'll be the weirdest <laughs> crossover. <laughs> Nothing about it. Cloud's all like, like, oh, I don't have not Cloud. Um, uh, Titus is like, oh, I don't have an Aeon, but I do got a ride on. <laughs> I choose you. Like, like, like characters in Final Fantasy with Pokemon, dude. Sell it. You're welcome. You can have that at one. <laughs> That's not. I mean, they had the Moogles. Throw the Moogles out there. <laughs> I'm saying that would be a good game. Do you not think that'd be a good game? Mm -hmm. Pokemon? Uh, Pokemon <laughs> that'd be an awful, awful thing. Why would, okay. It'd be an abomination. It'd be amazing. <laughs> it'd be an abomination. I'm sure Square Enix and Nintendo, like, you know, they would never happen. Like, they would never work together. But if they did, it would be pretty cool. They should do one with, like, Nickelodeon shows. <laughs> what? Like, you see Cloud and, like, Then Rugrats and, and Tommy? Oh, let me unlock this fucking... You could even do it with, like, all that or the Amanda show. All, all... Um, okay, <laughs> not even cartoons. The, the Amanda show? Oh, my God. You could have said Angry Beavers and that would have been okay, but the Amanda cat dog. show? He could have done Cat Dog. I, actually, I didn't really like Nickel Nickelodeon growing up. Nickelodeon, the only thing I liked was Ang uh, Angry Beavers, mm -hmm. Avio Monsters, I think Rocco's oh, Modern Life was Red on Stippy was on there as well. Yeah. I like Tay Arnold. Tay Arnold was good. And there's Tay like Arnold a, is deep. I don't I don't like it. I'm like, man, this is uh this is it's boring. Depressing. Doug. It's depressing. Doug is also boring. Doug where all the black, black, black people were blue. I hated Doug. Boring shows. They were all boring, man. I don't know. When I was a kid, like I watched either Cartoon Network. Let me tell you some good shows right now if you want to watch some good shows. Ready? Dexter's Laboratory. Good. Awesome. Ready? Um, um Courage the Cowardly Dog. Ed and Nettie. Samurai Jack. Uh, Samurai, Samurai Jack, Jack. Yeah. yeah. Anything that Toonami put out, you know, freaking Roni Kenshin. They had, didn't they, they have Trigon on there? Was Trigon, Trigon was on Adult Swim. Yu Yu Hakusho. Show. Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah, Trigon was on. DBZ. Like, they had that down. Yeah, got oh, them. Alright, ready? Mm -hmm. Saturday morning cartoons. Let's go back even further. X-Men the Animated Series. <laughs> Batman the Animated Series. Gargoyles? Zoid. Where are my Gargoyles oh, fans Street at? Street Sharks. You remember Street Sharks? No. Am I the only one who fucking remembers Street Sharks? <laughs> Holy shit. Sarah. Every time I bring that up, nobody ever remembers Street Sharks. Did you, did you make that up? No, it's a real show, and a lot of people grew up with it. It was on the same part with Garfield. So, to get back to the Wars. question, it yeah. would be, they should. They should make one for Wii U. <laughs> so, okay, so to take all the mini games from Pokemon X and Y with, like, you know, I'm gonna pet my Pokemon and put it on the gamepad. So you can rub your Pokemon with your hand on the gamepad? <laughs> yeah, everyone wants to be able to rub their Pokemon. Esper on the big screen? Does that answer that question? I don't know why they haven't done it. They should do it. That's my answer. Yeah, I don't see why not. 
All right, what is this, a topic? What are, what are we doing here? <laughs> All right. Mr. Ace Novel. Charmory uh, from Tumblr. Who did actually, this person right here, Charmory, did a really awesome heavy cosplay from TF2. And uh, if you go follow her on Tumblr, you can see that. Anyway, um, stories and games, a necessity, merely a bonus, but not a requirement, or totally unnecessary for you to enjoy the game. Uh, you know, a story, I'm a story gamer. Yeah, it has to have a story for me. If it doesn't have a story, I can't invest myself in it. I mean, actually, like, it's not true. Because I, be. I told you my problem lately is that I've, uh, except for Bioshock Infinite, which I just picked up and I played for like 16 hours straight, mm -hmm. um, it's good to have games that you can just pick up and play, you know? That's what's, that's the only thing that I really like about games like, you know, Battlefield or Call of Duty, is games where you can just pick it up and play. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like, I feel like there's like some kind of, um, what's the word, commitment to like an RPG or a story driven game. Uh, you know, I don't know, it is, it's mixed for me. I, yeah, I mean, I guess, it, I guess if it's like a multiplayer game, but I, like I'm looking at it in the scope of like just single player games, like mm -hmm. if the story is shitty, I can't, and like, but the combat's fun, like I, I, I can't put myself into it, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I, like I, I like if, if if the God of War didn't have, I mean, God of War story was very out there. I don't know. God of War story was kind of weird. It wasn't. It wasn't like. It wasn't, like, it, it wasn't it, amazing. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't a mess thing, but it wasn't bad. But it was still was really this, fun to play. I don't know. Yeah. It's a it's a weird question. It's a, it's a case by case basis. I'm gonna have to. For, say. Okay, I'm gonna say for it to be like a favorite game of mine, it has to have story. Mm -hmm. It has to have a good yeah. story for it to be a favorite game. Those are the games that stick with you. Mm -hmm. No one's like, oh, man, I was eight years old. I was playing Modern Warfare Two. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The memories that but come back. I, I, I don't know, because like for Battlefield, like people make their own stories and stuff like that. Like you mean um, like role playing? No, not like role playing. Like I mean like Battlefield, just like any matches that you do that are really epic. Like oh, this guy crossed the jet into the building and blah blah blah. blah oh, okay. So it's like that sort it's of like, like it's sort of like the story. person to person. It, it's yeah. more like like oh, this cool thing that happened to me. We did but that I many times in Battlefield. Yeah. <laughs> but I I do prefer CC four jets. Yeah, no, I heard C four truck jeeps. <laughs> George George Bush's like battle plan for like the Middle East <laughs> was uh it, it, throwing a bunch of C four on like one of those like go kart cars and jumping over a bridge and blowing it up. But yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, you have personal stories to share. Yeah, but I think that a uh, very story-driven game um, is more of my cup of tea too. Yeah, like mm -hmm. obviously my yeah, favorite games, Uncharted and Last of Us and mm -hmm. stuff. So Nice Old Republic. Yeah, yeah, you know, you look at Bioshock it. More, it's like it's a, kind of like a movie, but with yeah. an interactive style. You know, mm -hmm. it's a piece of art it takes with you. So, yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I can still enjoy a game without a story. Yeah, yeah. you can enjoy it. It's not necessary for a game to exist. Mm -hmm. To be my favorite game, though. Yeah. It's gotta be top shelf. It's in there, yo. You wanna pull one of those out, you're just gonna fondle them all day. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Corey Russell Vincent. On the tweets. On the tweets. <laughs> Tamagotchi making a comeback. Should it just be a smartphone app? Hashtag save point. It is a smartphone app already. No, you think should it just be? Oh, should, should, it, should, it, should they just stick to it? I didn't know it was an app. Yeah, it's an app yeah, now. It, and you know what, to be honest, I would have rather have... I would, the, app's all, the app's not that great. I would rather have it... So it, you think it should make a comeback? Because, because on the app, it, you have to like breed multiple Tamagotchis at the same time. You have to? Well, it's not have to, but there's like an achievement system. Oh, okay. So it's like you have to like, you know, you, 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 it's incentivized to have multiple Tamagotchis. Whereas the, the one, the little thing I'm keeping your keychain, that's like it's its own creature. You right. know, it's its own thing. You have to take care of it. On the app, I feel, I don't know, like, I just get bored and stop playing it. But if it was, like, you know, something yeah. on Tom, top I, I miss Tamagotchi. I, I think I might have had one for, like, a day. I had <laughs> one. See, I was never a big Tamagotchi person. They shit all over the place. And <laughs> people were crying if, like, it dies. They act like it's, like, the end of the world. And then you just get another one. It just... Did you have a Neopets account? No. So you're I just... like any of those pets. So you're just not a nurturer. No, I'm not. Hunter like... Taylor, not a nurturer. I'm not. Ladies. Neopets... <laughs> You had, had a stock market. They had a friggin' stock market. You could buy stock in that game. I don't even know how. It's it's crazy, man. It's a they Neopia. Is that the name of the world? Something like that. It's fucking weird. I don't know. I, I don't. I, I feel like if it was a. I don't know because like if it was a well-made app, that's all you'd really need because like if everything a Tamagotchi needs, mm -hmm. a phone can do because you know it's got the movement trackment, mm -hmm. trackment tracking. Um, pedometer. Yeah. Pedometer. It's got all that stuff built into a phone, so if they made the app well, I mean, imagine it'll work. Yeah. But there is a certain appeal of like, you know, people are like, oh, you have a Tamagotchi, let's yeah. date. <laughs> I assume that's what happens. Does that happen to you? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
man. You can do like the bump thing with your phones and make Tamagotchi. Oh, yeah. Yes. You know, but it, yeah. Yeah. It, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it is a social thing, though. I think that's part of the reason why Tamagotchi blew up the first time is because it was such a social thing. You know, you see someone with the Tamagotchi like hanging on their belt loop or whatever. You can approach them. You have a reason to approach them without them punching you. Exactly. I, it's kind of like Pokemon, you know? Oh, hey, you're playing Pokemon. I am not a serial killer. I just enjoy Tamagotchi. Let's um, talk. Maybe marry me. <laughs> I'm so far. <laughs> we can feed ours together. We can feed them. ours together. We can raise them. And then you'll know to look out for Hunter because you're like, oh, like his Tamagotchi would be like dying. Like, yeah, it's, it's, like, everywhere. Sending out, it, it's, it's like sending out like a distress signal. Like your, your Tamagotchi goes off. Like, What's wrong? There's another Tamagotchi in distress? And then you start running to save the day. I don't know, man. Poop just everywhere. <laughs> I won't clean. Oh, I'm just trying to think what would happen if they came out with a Tamagotchi because I feel like everything has to integrate now. So it would have to integrate with your smartphone somehow. You listen to music, it listens to music. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, Tamagotchi's jamming out with you. But, but then... It, but if it fucking hates your music. Yeah. You know. It's Travis Gambino again. <laughs> what is this? I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, but like, what you know when you do like other stuff on your phone? I don't know. Like, you're watching... Checking stocks? <laughs> yeah, and your Tamagotchi's also checking stocks, and you're like, No, Tamagotchi, no! Don't invest in that. Don't <laughs> invest in that. It's like, oh, it's a volatile market. <laughs> Alright. Is Tamagotchi watching you? Find out. You want to do one more, like rapid fire, real quick? Rapid fire. Rapid fire. Let's, let's just shoot one off. Oh, boom, phrasing. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is from Twitter. From uh, Moronix Gaming. And it says graphically graphical uh, fidelity versus storyline versus gameplay as a game balancing balancing issue. Ah, I have a smiley face. Yeah, All right, go for it. Face. All right, my perfect example of this: Halo Four. One of the, arguably the best looking console games for the 360. For the 360, and you know it tops any game or pretty much any game I've seen on PlayStation Three. But there's like six hours of gameplay. Now, I would have rather had a game that looked like Halo 3 mm -hmm. and had a longer 14 hour tournament. Right, you know, and, and as he said, like as a balancing thing, there, there is, you have to find like a kind of balance. You mm -hmm. gotta like scoot in a little bit. Not like you like me. Alright, so <laughs> it, it is sort of a balancing thing. Um, I, think, I think graphics shouldn't be the top tier though. Like, that shouldn't be your first concern. Mm -hmm. Because again, like Halo 4, like, it, it, it is a beautiful game, but I feel like, okay, you could focus that much on the graphics if it lends that much to the story. Like, okay, sorry, one of my favorite games, Half-Life 2, which I just started doing Let's Play, so if you can, uh, here's a link to that. But, okay, so Half-Life 2, in the background, and the same thing with Portal, there's a lot of story things. Mm -hmm. So, like, there's there's posters on all, there's newspaper clippings, there's drawings and stuff. So, if, if you're going for intense graphics, make it work for the story. Like, if something's super scenic, make it because it's also, like, a crucial scene. Like, you're staring at it, and it's beautiful, but it's, like, it also is in the story. You know what I mean, dude? I know what you mean, dude. But like, uh, graphics shouldn't be your first concern. No, I mean, like, and then they're like, there are games like Crisis, and Crisis Nessus not necessarily is the fucking like. Harry Potter of the video game world. The story isn't amazing, but it's a long story, mm -hmm. and Crisis but, but, looks like cri Crisis. Yeah, it's graphically amazing. So they did the balancing right. Okay, so sure they like they put they put less points into mm -hmm. uh, story, and they put more points into graphics and gameplay but they balanced it better. Mm -hmm. So it, it is all about how well you manage to balance it out, I think. Like, what game to you is the perfect, like, balance for you? Mm. Oh, man. I know mine already. I kind of want to say Bioshock Infinite. Yeah. It yeah. was a beautiful game. I was even the Bioshock story 1. was very, yeah, even Bioshock 1. Bioshock 1. Beautiful, like, uh, Bioshock, beautiful game. You know, obviously a very rich story, and the gameplay's still fun. Mm -hmm. They probably had a little bit more points in story than gameplay, yeah, because like, you know, there are those little, everybody argues, oh, why is there a pineapple in the chocolate bin? Well, it's not even that so much as that, like, okay, so there's quite a few guns in Bioshock, like Bioshock Infinite, mm -hmm. but I never felt the need to use many of them. Mm -hmm. Like, I kind of just found, like, I think I used the repeater, and that's, like, I was happy with that. Yeah. They, you know, I feel like a game really should should try to put you in situations where you use every type of I don't of know, I played, I played 19, the 1999 mode, is that what it is? And the, like, crazy difficult one? Yeah, yeah, and you definitely used the other guns a lot. 
Okay, so, fair enough. So, I mean, like, the game was, it was much more difficult, so it puts you in the situation where you needed to use the other guns. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, that's, you know, that's where I feel like the, with the difficulty being upscaled, it, it made it, you know, more like that. But, like, another thing, like, oh, how you have all these, um, mm -hmm. kind of want to say plasmids, but it's, they're not plasmids, the vigors. Um, but none of your opponents do, even though they're very widely throughout the world, you know? Yeah. So, I think, in order of prior priorities, mm -hmm. I actually, I think, okay, this is how your priorities should go. Gameplay. Because if it isn't fun to play, there's and no point. It's a video game, man. Yeah. A video game. You'd just be watching a movie at that point. So, gameplay? Well, except for the Walking Dead game. Then story, then graphics. Unfortunately, what we're seeing with the current market is more like graphics, gameplay, eh. Yeah. <laughs> and with the Walking you Dead... You shoot a guy, I, I don't know, and then he wants to kill you, you know, you're, you're angry. The Walking Dead game, I mean, it, they they did yeah. their graphics. Shell shading is a style. Yeah. So regardless of the fact no, that... No, I mean, like, gameplay-wise. Oh, gameplay. There's not much gameplay. I mean, there is. I, I enjoy, I enjoy it, uh, yeah. quite a bit. But I'll, I would say for me, like, um, the... Because I would just say Uncharted 3, but I want to say something else. So I'm going to say... Last of Us? I finally actually got to play Far Cry 3 recently. Mm -hmm. Far Cry 3 to me is a perfect balance between very good gameplay and really amazing story with really good characters. That is, that is, I've heard that a lot actually. Yeah, I haven't played Far Cry 3 yet, but I do hear it's that. It's so good. Like, if, I know, like, the game came out after the VGAs last year, but if it gets nominated for this year, I hope Voss wins Character of the Year, honestly. I, I want to one up you there Blood Dragon. Blood Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Great story, beautiful graphics. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's gonna win like a freaking I don't know Tony I don't know. writers award a freaking like Nova or something. Um, I'm trying to think of another really good example. Because everybody knows The Last of Us and Grand Theft Auto Five and stuff like I, that. I, you know I don't really think I mean it's a pretty game but it's I not think, it's not stunning. It's definitely not. I, don't it's not, I think it's a really good looking. Game. I think it's a really good for looking the scale game. of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. because like it's trying to do so much at once mm -hmm. that it just like, you know what I mean? Like it can't like have perfect texture. Though, though they do, th th this is like one of the biggest gaming sins for me, what? is repeating character models. And it's like one of the biggest, most perpetrated sins, even Bioshock Infinite did it. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't want to see the same guy twice, that <laughs> breaks immersion for me. Like, uh, you know, okay, all right, so Dead Rising 3. Apparently, no two zombies are the same. They're all, they're all customized, they're a little yeah. unique, unique in different ways. And I need that. When I'm playing a game, I'm like, I just saw you. I just saw you again. I just killed you, like, three times. Like, I don't want to see the same character models. I heard that was a problem with Rise. Yeah, there's, like, three barbarians. You kill yeah. the same three barbarians. What are you doing, dude? The entire, they're they're what are amazing. Doing? They're great. They're the best-looking barbarians you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> but there's three of them. <laughs> you got them. You got them the same time. Like, the only thing they do is, like, change, like, a helmet. I would rather you have five characters in your game and have them each be unique than have a hundred characters, and, but there's only really three. That's Don't kind of do it, man. Same thing with like Bioshock One, Bioshock Two, Uncharted. Almost all games are guilty yeah. of this. Really, they do that in Uncharted? Kinda, yeah. Are there that many characters? Well, I guess. Well, the soldiers, yeah. like who you fight. Mm -hmm. But oh, it's not really noticeable. Everybody really looks the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not really noticeable though, because you're killing all of them. And I think maybe <laughs> part of it before was like, okay, especially before Blu-rays, like, okay, you have restrictions on how big the game can be. Yeah. But now that's out the door. Like, how big is Killzone again? Fifty gigs. Yeah. It's around fifty so, gigs. So, if your if your game is fifty gigs. You better have some unique character models. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. And I heard Killzone was just wishy washy. Yeah, I heard yeah. the same thing. All right, think that about does it? Yeah. That's a, that's okay. A good Once more, uh, we'd like to thank Insert Coin and go check them out on insertcoinclothing.com for some awesome t-shirts, jackets. Shirts like these. Uh, also, follow them on Twitter. We'll post a link to their Twitter in the description below. They're always, they're always talking about what their upcoming designs and things. They're always coming out with new things and really awesome stuff. Like, take don't even take my word for it. Go find out for yourself. Um, like this one is inspired by Remember Me. Mm -hmm. This is obviously some Resident Chris Evil. Redfield, or it, it could be Claire. I know, I know. See Redfield there, awesome Resident Evil, and this is Golden Axe. Golden Axe. Golden Axe. Golden Axe. Terry Forever. But thanks for joining us on Save Point. Oh, one thing. Please like our Facebook because oh, yeah, we that. never get no love on Facebook. No questions on Facebook that, needs you. Yeah. And you'll get like all the updates to let you know like all of our like when our videos are exactly out. Mm -hmm. um, besides just YouTube. And also check out our Tumblr because um, we write articles, all of us. And so. game deals. Game deals. Oh, oh yeah. And, uh, and, and, and tell us, tell us, what is, is story the most important part of the game? What's your ideal balance? Like if you could put like one through three and, and, and you could plot your points out, what's your arrange for how games should be? Tell us in those comments below. Yeah, and, and do hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, do that. Like. 
Tell all your friends about us. Dude, <laughs> tell your grandmother, because a lot of grandmas are playing games now. Yes, the Rage Granny. If you and uh, the one in, in South Korea who who sued the uh, oh, the God. company who made Lineage because her twenty thousand oh. dollar item broke. Did you hear that Lindsay Lohan's thing about suing Rockstar? I thought she's going through with it. Isn't she trying to? Yeah. Well, is there? Because she says there's a likeness because, of her in the yeah, game that's like really you know, like, like the demeaning. poster with like the blonde girl with like the eye. Free that does thing. not look like she Lindsay thinks Lohan. it looks like her. She's insane. <laughs> and also, well, like, we already knew like, she was insane. There's like some hotel in the game that's modeled after a hotel in real life and. Uh, there's a red-headed girl getting her picture taken and she thinks it's her even though she's blonde now But she, she used to stay there all the time, so they think it's her. I don't think we said her names in the beginning, did we? Yes, no, we, did. Did we, we did not. By the way, my name is Ryan Shepard. I'm Nick Rubio. And I'm Hunter Taylor. And love us. This is Save Point. <laughs> save Point. Nah, nah, nah. Wait, no, never mind. I don't want to have to pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> Royalties! <laughs> Thanks for oh. joining us. But really, she like she really thinks that, that, that like how conceited, how insane and conceited is she? Uh, I'm, I don't even know. Dude. It just makes her. You know what the weird thing is? Is like look at her character in Mean Girls, and it's like she learned nothing from that. <laughs> like she played a character where she was like, oh yeah, these people are really superficial and fake and blah blah. blah. Learned nothing from that. Like like her character hates who she is in real life. She, Am I wrong? She, she was like, no, I was under massive amounts of cocaine she, at that time. I don't remember any she of that. Just